Why study business ethics? Why study business ethics other than for the reason that it is required for your major or minor? To answer this question, I will first draw on the wisdom of Aristotle. Aristotle viewed each species as having a unique capacity or what venture capitalists today would call a killer application or killer app. For example, while some animals can run fast to outrun the other animals that may be trying to eat them or are good at camouflaging themselves against being eaten, humans have the unique capacity for abstract thought. In turn, our unique capacity for abstract thought allows us to reason, and according to Aristotle, we should employ our reasoning killer app as the means for leading a good life and creating a good society. But if you're still not convinced that you should study business ethics because you uniquely have the cognitive skills to do so, there is always the practical reason that it may keep you out of jail. Enron, WorldCom, Tyco International, and Adelphi Communications are the names of large companies that have recently become synonymous for corporate greed that led to indictments, trials, and long prison terms. Still, from a business perspective, the best reason of all for studying business ethics is that it makes good business sense. In American business, despite a growing view that ethics has a role to play in commercial transactions, the public view of business is still expressed in what can be called the myth of amoral business, or the perception that business is business. The initial case for studying business ethics is made by suggesting that many people believe the myth of business as being an amoral institution or something that is based on partial truth while simultaneously concealing a good deal of reality. However, as illustrated in one of the cases studied in the course, most people in business act ethically. Further, as illustrated in the case of the lethal tampering with Tylenol capsules in the early 80s, the makers of Tylenol, Johnson & Johnson, discovered that although their immediate recall cost them revenue and their short-term market share, their long-term viability and the restoration of their market share hinged on their ethical actions. After the link was made between the cyanide poisoning of individuals in Chicago and other cities to Tylenol pills, the top Johnson & Johnson executives involved in deciding how to respond used their company code of ethics that stated that their first responsibility is to the users of their products and services to call for an immediate recall of their Tylenol product. Johnson & Johnson could have declined to do a recall and this inaction could have possibly have saved the value of the company's stock. However, the company's business involved more than profit. Its purpose was to serve the interests of the public as well as its investors. In turn, in the aftermath of the tragedy, Johnson & Johnson had regained 96% of the market share they initially lost within a year and a half. Finally, if you're not in business or still not convinced when it comes to the worth of studying business ethics, consider Cicero's suggestion that a life employed in the pursuit of useful knowledge, in honorable actions, and in the practice of virtue yields an unspeakable comfort to the soul. And then again, there is that ever compelling reason to study ethics for the purpose of avoiding jail. Thank you for watching and I hope to e-meet you in one of my online business ethics courses.